this uh, live on Twitch. So what is Vanifar? Well, she is our prime speaker. Uh, she is basically the card birthing pod on a creature. So how this works is you can sacrifice another creature other than Vanifar and search your library for a creature with converted mana cost one more than that creature. Um, this can only be activated as a sorcery. So what this allows us to do is play what's kind of referred to as a toolbox uh, kind of strategy. Um, from here, what we're able to do is play a lot of one-ofs or narrower creatures um, and kind of build up value over time. So this looks like a pile of cards. I'll kind of dem walk you through my thought process through all this, and then I can let you... We're going to start off with a, a Sultai version, so green, black, and blue, and then we'll play a Bant version, so swap the black for white. So uh, we obviously have three of the prime speakers. Uh, we also have Neoform that plays a similar effect. Um, I generally like to play three just because you tend to um, draw into multiple prime speakers and they're not that good. Um, one thing with not playing red is we don't get uh, Rhythm of the Wild to give Vanifar haste. Uh, in place, we're trying a Samut out to give it haste so that way it can activate the turn it comes down. Um, in the two drop slot, you, so with this you want to make sure you have enough things on each uh, spot on the curve. So we got Fibblethip, uh, so basically it just comes into the library, draws cards, and we can go from there. Um, we have Crawl Harpooner, uh, so Harpooner is going to be here for like your flyers, it can fight, so Mono Blue, Phoenix, stuff like that it's good against. Um, we're playing Paradise Druid as our ramp. Um, so in this build here, it might be wrong, but we're not playing Lana War Elf. Um, we're really trying to go f to four more so than we are one to three. So we'll try that out. Um, it might be wrong because we can't get a chain started, but we don't have too much that's creating tokens in this list, so I'm not as worried. Uh, we have the three Neoforms, which is basically backup Prime Speaker, one Exclusion Mage as a tempo play to bounce uh, like an opponent's creature. Plague Crafters as removal, but also to catch Planeswalkers. Uh, Elvish Rejuvenator to get ramp. Um, basically, I like this to look through the deck, get some mana, and kind of take you from three to five. Reclamation Sage is catch all removal. Uh, we have, I, I want to try out a couple Vivians in this build. Uh, let's us play on our opponent's turn, and lets us play a Vanifar, untap, and then be able to activate her. Um, in the 4-drop slot, we have Riverwise Augur, which basically lets us rearrange. So if we have one of our creatures that we need uh, on top of our library, we can, or in our hand, we could kind of put it back and then Prime Speaker into it. Uh, Spark Double is basically to copy stuff. Uh, seems good. Getting multiple, say, like Biogenic Oozes. Uh, Chupacabra is targeted removal. Hostage Taker is removal that we get to cast their stuff. Uh, fine Brokers, basically just to kind of get stuff back from the graveyard after we sack. Then in the 5 drop slot we have Massacre Girl, who uh, might be wrong playing in a creature heavy deck uh, as removal. Um, we have Vampire Sovereign um, as a way to gain some life. Crawl Forger, another way to gain some life. Biogenic Ooze is a way to kind of take over the game. Rolex is a way to kind of make our stuff bigger. Uh, one thing with Ooze is Prime Speaker is also an Ooze, so it works out pretty nicely there. Uh, and then in the 6 drop slot, we have Dream Eater, uh, Bounce some stuff, uh, Izoni, make a bunch of creatures. Our deck's pretty much all creatures, so Undergrowth can be pretty good. And then Madrotha is a way to, for us to kind of recycle our effects. Um, in the sideboard, we have Duress vs. Control, another Harpooner. Uh, Vivian Arcbow vs. Control, so when it's unlikely that Prime Speaker is going to stick around, we can use Vivian. Plague Crafter vs. Uh, Planeswalker decks, or just kind of more Voltron y decks. Ashiok vs. the Command the Dreadhorde builds. And Phoenix, Vraska Contempt vs. Heavy Planeswalker decks. And then we have Crawlheart uh, Forager vs. Mono Red. Maybe too slow, but we'll try it out. Vivian's vs. Control, just as card advantage and then a Carnage Tyrant. So really, our post board is really geared towards uh, dealing with control um, because it'll tend to bring in more removal. So we'll run this through. Um, a couple things, we don't get red, so we don't get Rekindling Phoenix, which works really good because you could sack it and then get it back. So we'll see how this version plays out. Uh, I'm going to play some best of threes. Uh, 
assault die. Welcome to those who are joining live on Twitch. Uh, for those of you who are catching this on the replay, uh, everything we stream on Twitch is available on my YouTube channel, MTG underscore Joe. Uh, everything from our budget builds to our tier one and everything in between. If you're enjoying the content, put either on Twitch or on YouTube. If you could subscribe or follow, it's a free way to show your support and goes a long way to helping out the channel. All right, so it might be incorrect not playing Lana War Elf. Uh, this hand doesn't really do much, but in a pinch we can. Yeah, let's try it out. Might be a little slow. Uh, second Neo form is not that good. Okay, so this is red green. Elvish Rejuvenator is pretty good there. You could ramp us. And then follow it up with being able to search for Vanifar. Krinko. No blocks here. Um, here, whenever it attacks, put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. So I'm going to Rejuvenate her this turn. Because then what we can do is re next turn we can Neoform twice and get Vanifar and Exclusion Mage to bounce the Krinko. Just get a Watery Grave tapped. No attacks here. Uh, no blocks here. We always have the option to go Masker Girl if need be. So here... Let's go... Neoform on you. Get Prime Speaker. And then just to add the mana here. Oh, we tapped wrong. The green mana here. This also having three power this turn is pretty good. Um, We'll just throw down a breeding pool and pass the turn. So we got some good blockers. We can start attacking in if need be. What is this? Whenever attacks, it gets 1-1 for each land you control. Jeez. Okay, so Chupacabra. Let's go Chupacabra. Um... So this is what I like about the deck, we just kind of find answers. Um, so it's unlikely... They have flyers, so I'm probably just going to go... Like this, and just set up for the turn. And we'll just pass the turn back. We can go Biogenic Ooze next turn. Or need to get another. Okay, so Riverwise Augur. Riverwise Augur doesn't really set it up, so we already used the Exclusion Mage. Don't have much at three. We need to get that off the battlefield. So let's just go. 
probably so we can take a damage this turn and then just set up for Muldrotha to start getting back the value every turn let's go crawl harpooner gains us more life this turn Hostage taker is also good. Um, so we'll put this back and put this back. And just pass the turn. Get haste. It's actually pretty scary because this will become 8 power. Um, so with the auger, uh, probably just double block like this. Okay, so we have Dream Eater. So we can cast you. Cast Krenko. Now I think we need to. Get Madrotha. Cast Ravenous Chupacabra. Kill the aggressive mammoth. And then just pass the turn. So we can keep cast sacking Chupacabra. Vampire Sovereign's actually pretty nice. So here. Let's activate. Get Biogenic Ooze. Yeah. So we got him that game. It was pretty sweet. Alright. Against this deck. That's probably needed. I usually like don't like playing too many varied cards. Um... Probably cut a harpooner for another plague crafter, but they have tokens, which I don't really like. Maybe just bring in the Vraska's Contempt to deal with one of the big things. Some mutt probably isn't needed. It did nothing that game. So we'll run it back like that. So you can see how the deck works once we get... Um, like a Vanifar out. This hand does nothing, so a mulligan. This hand's much better. So if they have an aggressive start, we're in a bit of trouble. A weird deck. It's just like trample tribal. They've led on triple mountains. Just get as many dual lands as possible. No blocks here. Save that for something bigger, obviously. Probably gonna go Vivian. Banefire for one. That's fine. So we'll just set up a Vivian this turn. I've seen 
Uh, so, well, we cleared those off the top of our library. Do you put them back? Okay, bottom of our library. It's pretty gross. Oh, opponent calls it quits. So we had a pretty awkward draw that game, but... Run it back for another one. Opponent was on like Gruel starter deck. This hand doesn't do a lot. There's no ramp. There's no neo farm. I will right, try it. I might be wrong. If we could just draw lands, then we're pretty good. Sarpooner is kind of a liability. Two toughness dies to pretty much everything. Um, let's play out Harpooner. This matchup's probably going to be tough. Uh, going to hold off for now. Okay. It's better than nothing. This Massacre Girl is probably actually going to be really good against White Weenie. Tear it down. Um, going to keep the Chupacabra. a good kind of backup removal spell. <laughs> Land this turn would be great. Gonna let this go through. I want to block the... See how they, if they decide to block. Keep the play crafter around. Just hoping to get them to catch there and then we swap with them. Oh, I clicked the wrong one. That was a dumb move on my part. I meant to keep the play crafter back. And they have the Benelish. So missing the lands have come back to hurt us. Neo form into exclusion mage. Just go rejuvenator here. Need to try to draw into lands. Uh, need the second black source for Massacre Girl. So here we have to block. If they have another Benelish, we're dead. Oh, we're dead regardless. We block six, we take 12, 15. Yeah. Mono White's not one of the decks you can really stumble against. Okay, so in this matchup... Probably just want the harpooners, the or the um, yeah forager, not harpooner. Think we're okay. Maybe a Vraska's contempt instead of a plague crafter. Actually, I don't want so much. 
I'd rather just play another play crafter. At the very least, it deals with a creature. Not the best one for one removal, but it's something. Play first. Add one might not have any colors. We can't really block with this hand. Um, let's try it. I'm still experimenting with this deck. I want to see. Like we might need a Plague Mirror instead. Opponent in Maul to 5, which is pretty good for us, especially considering they're White Weenie. If we draw a land here, that's good for a Chupacabra. First Strike Mentor, so they attack in. No blocks. So I'm just going to play up. Nothing here. We can play Choop next turn. No blocks. I gotta take care of the Benelish. Hmm. Yeah, we gotta do this. I'd like to Riverwise Augur, but there's too much damage on the board right now. Actually, pretty scary. So this has first strike, so let's block here. Land, yay. Um, so we could tempo them this turn at least. Block them like that. We'll take the two this turn. Okay, Woodland, that takes us to six. Let's go Madrotha. No attacks here. So they might decide to try to force things in, but we'll still be able to cast Chupacabra each turn. Pretty aggressive by the opponent. That's an awesome chain to kind of get going. Um, just gonna attack in like that. I'm just gonna be a little conservative just in case. We are at 5 life, but opponent's pretty much dead at this point. But for our life total a bit. We can gain a life off that. We can also roll Esk. Don't have anything with lifelink in the deck. Or we can just make this a lot bigger. Opponent's kind of flooding out at this point. They give us the GG. It's pretty sweet. So they're not on a stock mono white list. 
We'll run it back. So I don't think we've really missed Line of Elf in this. It's usually a pretty bad late draw. The only thing is we don't get two cards off Fibblethip draws when you pull it from the library. Waiting on the opponent. Yeah, so lands are usually needed to play magic. Um, keep six, try to find a land. It's a little rough, but we are better suited. Them not having a one drop is a great bonus for us. Exclusion mage can bounce that. Curving out pretty nicely. Okay, so... Just go with that. Don't think we can block this turn. I think we need to set up a Massacre Girl turn. Just bounce this. This also gets big enough now that it's useful. I can Fibble Thip and like Rejuvenator or just Fibble Thip and Plague Crafter. Okay, their aspirants having flying now is a problem. See how they attack in. That's also very bad. Don't think this enters as a copy, so it's converted mana cost is three. Let's see what we draw. Probably dead. They probably get rid of that. Welcome to those tuning in live. If you can, drop in the chat where you're from, what's your name? If we can hit... So I don't know if we so they have five power there. Eight. So we gotta block this stuff on the ground. If we block the stuff on the ground, then we have a four drop into we can survive. Yeah. So our only play is unfortunately block like this. So any 4-drop in Neoform can wipe the board. 6-drop doesn't do it. Neoform, no. Opponent's got us. 
That one was close. If, if we were able to play the four drop, could have massacred girl. This server's been really choppy. Yeah, garbage museum tank. So let's run it again. Opponent plays first. So we might want the Plague Mare against the Aggro. Uh, his hand's a bit slow, not really doing anything. Might want the Elves. Try this out. Drawing literally all of our four drops after we just wanted one last game. Kind of karmic justice. Uh, probably black white vampires. We have the hostage takers, if need be, can start exiling their creatures. They're cheap, which is really good for us. Love a three drop here. Trying the massacre girl is actually not that bad. If we need to, it's always a fail safe. Wipes their board right now. Just exile one here. Next turn we can hostage taker. Exile another Sky Marcher and uh, cast the Sky Marcher. So, right now to our opponent, we're just a Sultai mid range. Uh, so, they get it back. So, I'll probably just Massacre Girl next turn. Massacre Girl. And then we can Prime Speaker and then do this into Maldrotha and then keep casting Massacre Girl. If they drop like another one drop, we have Hostage Taker, we also have Exclusion Mage, we have Fine Broker. Okay, so Plague Crafter is really not good in this matchup. You have Menace. So we'll just take it easy this game. Our life total is pretty low. Get that going. It's actually pretty scary. So I'm going to Exclusion Mage one of these and then uh, So Exclusion Mage one of these and then do it into Ravenous Chupacabra Just in case we draw it
in a pinch, we can always have a copy Massacre Girl with one of our clone effects. Okay. No attacks here. Can also Reclamation Sage the Fibblethip whenever comes a target of a spell. If we draw a land, then I'm going to hostage take her that. Or actually, we can just do this, exile, and then cast it. Which would work pretty well. So, get Reclamation Sage, blow that up. Take action. you thank you so are you a vampire you're a human assassin uh, we are okay for blue we have enough of board presence we can start attacking in So we're doing a pretty good job. The Massacre Girl's been really good in this matchup so far. I'm just going to exile that. This is how they kind of get snowballing advantage, but if we can control their board, we're in a pretty good spot. We could also just start setting up Muldrotha. Or we can just Chupacabra. So I can do you. Get back Exclusion Mage. Mage you. the Biogenic Ooze train going. Um, probably just uh, poke in a bit. I guess we have to actually win and not just have fun potting into stuff. 39 cards in the library. Yeah. Opponent sees the writing on the wall. <laughs> Opponent just does not want anything to do with their deck. So. One thing we need to do is add in Plague Mirror. Uh, so Plague Mer could be in the sideboard and played instead of Plague Crafter. I think we'll run it back for one more. First, keep this hand. Fibblethip hopefully draws us into something good. We 
You want to hit a three drop here? Zoni is not what we want. Gonna hold off on the Neo form. Like to use it to find like a silver bullet if need be. Oh, well, we are drawing a ton of lands. Uh, I'm just gonna spark double Fibblethip. Okay, so pull another land off the top. Opponents either on the slowest Salta, Cry or Carnarium. Okay. Not the best value, but still a 4 5 flyer. This might be Sultai control, most likely. Nebraska's content. It's very annoying with our Izoni that... And we are drawing nothing but lands. Masker Girl likely doesn't have text in this matchup, so play it as a 4-4. Ari Conjecture, get back Vraska's Contempt. Okay, so... So it's not the best play, but they get quite a bit of value. I'm just going to Reclamation Sage. I don't want him to be able to copy stuff. Just play a Watery Grave tapped. If we could get into Ooze, then we can start pumping it. They're going to brass Dread Horde General. Jeez. So we see how the opponent wins. We're too far behind in this one. Some great answers by the opponent. So this is our first taste of control. Um, so Duress, obviously good. Uh, the Vraska's Contempt. The Arc Bows, Vivians, Carnage Tyrants. They've shown Marari's Conjecture. I don't know if we want to go Ashiok. Um... Neoform probably feels bad here. Uh, Harpooner I'll keep in. Exclusion Mage could come out. Playcrafter is not bad. Riverwise Augur is not that good. Hostage Takers could come out. Masker Girl could come out. Krolf. Just really lowering our curve. Um, you pretty much make a bunch of things. You're a big threat. You're pretty good. Probably shave down a Vanifar. Try it out like this. Do we want to go Ashiok? I think we run it back like this. So we can't duress on one, but we can crawl Harpooner, start attacking in. That'll hopefully ramp us, get a Carnage Tyrant faster. Saltite doesn't really have a clean answer for Carnage Tyrant. Spiral. Question.
question here is, do we shock and duress? Probably. So that ramps return. Each player puts top core cards in the library return. So they don't have a clean removal spell next turn. So they hit our on another duress. The Ashiox would have been a great call. Fortunately, those aren't in the cards right now. So we're set up for a Carnage Tyrant next turn. Ah, so they have the Ritual. It's unfortunate. So we're going to pass the turn. Flash and Dream Eater. So, I think we just want Vraska's Contempt and none of the lands. It's a clean answer to Ugin. Do we do this? So the question is, we do this for the Eldest Reborn, because they can play that, make a sack. If they play Ugin, we can just attack it down. Eldest Reborn's probably still the right play here. They do need to eventually kind of close the game out. This replaces itself. I'm going to hold the land here in case they play Eldest Reborn or something. We have Discard Fodder. Also keeping two creatures out lets us attack the Ugin. Okay, so opponent's just like on mono removal dot deck. I think we just run out the Carnage Tyrant. They need a removal spell. They could recollect, but they don't have enough mana. This pretty much pressures them. If we can steal this game, then we are definitely bringing in the Ashiox. Okay, so they play out the U again. Attack in. Okay. 
Managed to steal that one. Okay, so they're like removal dot deck. Ashiox are definitely coming in. Um, Chupacabras could come out. Spark double also feels really bad here. Wondering if we just want more early pressure. Like at the very least, it just attacks into stuff. I'll run it back. Uh, RNG gods. We'll keep this one. Pretty much want to dig for lands here, unless it's an Ashiok. We'll keep that. Plague Crafter plays a little weird here. The contempt's not bad. Gives us a an answer. Probably have a cast down or something. Need to draw some action. We're pretty far behind here. Do nothing on this board state. God eternal bot two. Well, suddenly you have text. See what they play out. We have Vraska's Contempt the next time it comes down. So they're going to dig for Bantu. Hoping to hit a land there so we could have double spelled. We'll play Crafter again. Okay, so we can duress, see what's going on there. Uh, Mirari Conjecture is probably worse. Slows him down again. Getting stuck on mana hurts. Okay, so that does shuffle away the bond too. Actually, it's pretty good for us. So just apply some pressure. Opponents out of cards. If we ever draw into our next land. We're doing all right. Hey. It's something. It's pressure. Welcome to those who just joined the stream. So we're gonna shock in. We can either Vraska's contempt if they have like a planeswalker. Yeah, you're dead. Hey, got him. Got 
them dead. Alright, we've been going for about an hour now with this deck. I'm going to wrap it up. Thanks for those who tuned in live. Uh, if you missed any part of it, you can catch the full replay on my YouTube channel at MTG underscore Joe. If you enjoyed the content, make sure to drop a follow here on Twitch and a subscribe on YouTube. Uh, thanks for those who tuned in live and have a great evening.